Who is the composer? This is the topic in today's video from my series Practice Tips for Piano Students. As performers, we need to know as much as possible about each of the pieces that we perform. Keep in mind that we not only entertain, but we also educate an audience when we perform. And the more we know about the pieces that we play, the better. There is always someone that comes after a concert and wants to know as much as possible about a composer because they like that piece that we play. So I want to make a list, a short list today of what are the basic points, basic pieces of information that we need to know about the pieces that we perform. Number one, the name of the composer, the complete name. For example, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And we should pronounce the composer's name in the correct pronunciation of the country of origin, or at least come close, as close as we can to that pronunciation. But we should be aware of how it should be pronounced. Number two, the country of origin. It is very important to know that such and such composer is from, say for example, Austria. Number three, the century in which the piece was written and the composer lived. For example, if we're talking about Mozart, we'll say, well, the composer is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, a composer from Austria who lived in the middle to end of the 18th century. That information is pretty much basic. Everyone should know these three pieces of information of each of the pieces that they perform. But there are more. There are more um, points that we can add to it. The next one I would add is the dates, the composer's date. When was the composer born? When did the composer die? It's important. It's not the crucial information. I think it's more important to know the country of origin and the century in which the composer was active. But next to that would be the composer's date. After that, I would put the category of piece. So for example, if, a, if you play a sonata, a classical sonata by either Mozart, Haydn or Beethoven, you should be able to say, what is a sonata? It's a type of composition, right? And is usually in three or four movements. And maybe you're playing only the first movement but you should be able to say that a sonata has a specific structure. There are different parts to a sonata. So you should be able to say that. Those, I think, are the most important pieces of information. We don't really need to have a thesis on each of the pieces that we play, but we need to know, again, the name of the composer, complete name, with the correct pronunciation, the country of origin of that composer, the period or century in which the composer lived, the correct dates of birth and death, and the type of piece that you're playing. Be able to describe that at least briefly. And after that, as much as you want, you can add more to that. You can add more um, if you're interested in knowing more about the life of the composer, the historical context um, of the time when the composer was alive. You can go as far as you want, but the pieces of information that I listed before are very, very important and very basic. 
So I recommend that everyone knows this information and has it handy and uh, in your memory. So if you need to access that information quickly, you can just answer it right away, right then and there. So that's it for now. Just wanted to make sure that all of you that play your beautiful pieces know this information. So until next time, this is Martin Soderberg. Good night.